Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize and get better performance in Call of Duty Warzone Season 4 dropped recently. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that you have to open up settings on your PC and once you are over here, you have to make sure to go to gaming, then go over to game bar and then turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling that will help you to gain extra FPS. Right after that, go back to gaming and then click on the game mode button, then enable game mode. Game mode turned on will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, giving you better FPS in overall performance in the game. Then right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply click on that and then click on the change default graphic settings. Enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games as it will help you to reduce your input latency and use your GPU to render the games. After that, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button right over here and then add COD from the download location. Once you are here, simply add the COD.exe in this list. I've already added it. Simply go over to options and then click on high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, simply close your settings. Step number two is the compatibility settings. And for that, you have to go to the install location of your game. And once you're here, find COD.exe. Right click on that and go over to properties. Then head over to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. Click on change high DPI settings and then select this option. Click on OK, click on apply and then click on OK once again. Next step is disabling unwanted services and for that press Ctrl and R together and then type in msconfig. Once system configuration opens up in front of you, click on the boot section, then select advanced options and then click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. This will ensure that while you boot your PC, every single processor is utilized and reduce your booting time and also increase the gaming performance in the long run. Right after that, go over to the services section, click on hide all Microsoft services and then deselect all unwanted services that you do not really use such as Adobe Acrobat Update Service, Fan Control Service, Screen Sharing Service, Google Chrome or Printer Services and once that is done, click on the apply button. Make sure to know what you're doing to your PC because some of these services are really crucial such as VGC which is responsible to run Valorant. If you disable it, it won't run the game anymore. Once that is done, simply click on OK and then click on Exit without restart. Next step is deanimating your windows and this is super simple. Search for Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows and then over here select Adjust for Best Performance. Click on Save Taskbar, Thumbnail Previews, Show Thumbnails instead of Icons, Show Window Contents while Dragging and Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts. Doing so will help you to reuse the unwanted animations of your windows and will keep the windows look intact. Once that is done, click on the Advanced section over here and here is how you can optimally set your virtual memory. Click on the Change over here and then deselect Automatically Manage Paging File Size. Then open up your calculator and then System Information right away. Have a look on your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. So multiply 32 with 1024 and you will get 32768. Simply divide this whole value by 2 and what you get over here is what you have to put in the maximum size. Then simply click on set, click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Next step is fixing all of your ping, packet loss, latency issues using exit lag. You can download it for free from the link in the description below. Once you open up this application you can find a simple interface like this. Over here you'll find a list of over 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for Warzone right over here. Select Warzone and then choose the nearest server to you. For me, it will be Singapore 1 and you guys can see it shows an estimated 54 milliseconds of ping. Simply click on apply routes and it will one click optimize your ping, packet loss and so much more. Exit lag works like a VPN and it helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance, having you fix all of your high ping, high packet loss and so much more right away. The best part about this application is the tools section over here which offers you a dedicated FPS boost section wherein if you enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third last and last option it helps you to increase the FPS in game as well. Once again exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using it and for that you can get a monthly, annually or quarterly subscription wherein if you go through my link in the description below you can get a 2 plus 1 month free if you get a quarterly subscription so make sure to go check out exit lag links are in the description below. 
Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple and essential. Open up create a restore point and then select local disk C, click on create and name it COD. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss, you can always do it. Once this is done, simply click on the close button and close system properties. Next step is the Warzone Season 4 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can alternatively join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Over here, you'll find 5 simple folders. The first one is the CPU priority, in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. It helps you to put the best performance out for your CPU. Next is the RAM optimization and over here I have 32 GB RAM so I need to double click and run the 32 GB RAM registry. However, I have left a ton of presets according to your RAM so you can select whichever you want and if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default. Third is the Warzone priority in which I have left above normal, high and normal priority. Once again you can leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Next is the unwanted services and this is completely optional. Over here I have left a ton of services which you can double click and disable on your PC such as Bluetooth, core parking, downloading maps, extra unnecessary services, printer services, transparency and it helps you to gain extra FPS straight away. Once again if you don't like the performance you can revert them back from this folder. Last is the programs folder in which I have left MSI Utility V3. You can simply right click and run this as administrator. Once this software opens up, you have to find your graphic card, then select the MSI button in front of it and then for the interpriority, set this thing from undefined to high and then simply click on apply. This will make sure that your GPU affinity is set to a higher state. Once that is done, simply close out your FPS pack and drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, go to the settings right over here and then click on graphics. Then in the display settings for the display mode, I highly recommend you guys to play on full screen exclusive. Then set your refresh rate to the maximum available for your monitor. The display resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Nvidia reflex low latency, set it to on plus boost. For eco mode preset, set this thing to custom. Vsync, turn this thing off. Vsync menus go with off custom frame rate limit set this thing to unlimited menu render resolution keep it native focused mode set this thing to zero then go over to quality over here set the upscaling mode to nvidia dlss if you have an nvidia graphic card or set it to fsr 3.0 click on the show more button right over here for nvidia dlss or your fsr preset you have to set this thing to performance if performance is causing high fps but you are not liking the gameplay quality try playing it on balanced and see if you're getting the same kind of FPS because balanced and performance do not have much FPS difference but a lot of quality loss. For the DLSS sharpening, I highly recommend you guys to set this thing to somewhere between 80 to 85 percent as it is the most optimal value. For path tracing and ray reconstruction, turn this thing off. VRAM scale target, set this thing to the maximum. For texture resolution, keep it normal. Texture filtered and isotropic, set this thing to normal. Depth of field, turn this thing off. Detail quality level, set this thing to normal. Particle resolution, Solution, keep it low bullet impact turn this thing off persistent effects turn this thing off shader quality now this is the very high impacting quality right over here set this thing to low or medium whichever consumes less gpu on your pc on demand texture streaming turn this thing off local texture streaming quality set this thing to low shadow quality set this thing to normal screen space shadow set this thing to off ambient occlusion set this thing to off screen space reflection set this thing to off static reflection quality set this thing to low tessellation set this thing to near volumetric quality this is a very high impacting quality over here set this thing to low deferred physics quality low weather grid volumes set Set this thing to low water quality set this thing to wave wetness and then apply these settings last is the view section in which i highly recommend you guys to set your fov to 120 and then ads value set this thing to affected weapon field of view set this thing to wide scroll down world motion blur off weapon motion blur off filmic grain reduce it first person and third person camera movement set this thing to least and once that is done Simply exit out of your settings. And these are the best settings to play Call of Duty with the maximum FPS possible on your PC. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, we have introduced channel membership. So if you are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership as it really helps me out a ton. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.